Hello everyone, my name is Linda Wright and I'm your Ward 3 Alderman. There are two Aldermen in Ward 3, as a matter of fact. We have over 7,000 people employed in Ward 3. That's amazing, I think. We would like to welcome those people every day as they come into Winsville. Some do live in Winsville, but others do not. But we also want to welcome them to come and live here and join us as we enjoy everything that Winsville has to offer. Our largest employer is General Motors with three different shifts. The second largest is Serco North America and they have two different shifts. We also have many small and mid-sized businesses, restaurants, pubs, and shops, and they are important to our vibrancy. So what's happening in Ward 3? One of the major projects coming this summer is the Corporate Parkway Road construction, which is scheduled for completion by year end. The road will provide a link between Highway A and I-70 over to Highway 4061. Tra traffic will be less and the drive to St. Charles County Library and the businesses along Corporate Parkway will be a lot smoother. With the growth in residential housing and business which is expected to continue, there is a need to strategically manage and plan so we are prepared for the future. Our Mayor, Nick Caccioni, your Board of Aldermen, and our excellent staff have carefully planned and we revisit that plan frequently. Winsville City staff are the best at what they do and our police officers are amazing. We recognize that while our growth is astonishing and positive, we will have new challenges that will continue. One of these challenges which may seem very small to some, is the littering that tends to be a nuisance in many communities. Littering costs the community in dollars and labor that could be utilized elsewhere. It also impacts our city's image and your property values. Litter is more than unsightly and costly. It affects the well-being of our community, our wildlife, our groundwater. So this year we'll be kicking off additional in initiatives we believe will make a difference with the litter and you can be a part of this. I'd like to mention an event that we've done many times before. It happens on April the 11th, 2015 this year and it's Mission Clean Stream. It's taking place in Rotary Park this year. This is the time when we pay attention to our streams in other areas and we spend a couple of hours in designated areas to clean up. I encourage all residents to consider registering online with your family, your friends, teams, or as an individual. The registration will continue at Rotary Park on site 8.30 on the 11th. We get a lot of cleanup done in that two hour period. Last year we joined with St. Charles County and collected over 14,000 pounds of trash, which was removed from 53. Last year, we collected over 14,000 pounds of trash, collected at 53 different sites. Most of that trash was plastic bags and plastic bottles. That is a lot of plastic bags. And that's a good show, we have to admit, but we're not done yet. We are going to have a continuous organization of citizens who want to see litter eliminated. So we'll see you at Rotary Park on April the 11th. If you don't make it this year, put it on your calendar and be there next year because we will have a great time and we'll continue cleaning up. I wanted to inspire our young people to take part in reducing litter in our community. But I have to say, I was inspired by them. So I'd like to introduce the amazing sixth graders at Winsville Middle, also known as the Litter Busters. See you at Rotary Park on April the 11th. Thank you. We are Colin, Collier, Max, Nathan, Brendan, Emily, Sydney, 
And we are from Winsville Middle School. We've been working on litter in the community as our class project. We've noticed some trash in it. We'd like to make a difference in our community because it's where we live. And if we don't do something now, it will only get worse. Earth Force is an awesome project and gives kids the chance to help out the community. And here's what we've been working on. Hey, don't just throw the trash on the ground. Pick it up. Yeah, sorry. There, this is a problem we have. People just throw trash on the ground, not even caring where it goes. Unfortunately, this is a problem in our community. Yeah, let's clean it up. We don't want a dirty city. We want to challenge you until don't forget to throw away 10 pieces of trash on Tuesday. Don't, don't forget, forget to toss 10 on Tuesday. We are from Mrs. Echo Camp's class from Winsville Middle School. We are interested in making our schools look nice and helping the community. We want local businesses to have effective trash policies. We are working with other people to pick up trash. We want to help hold high school put trash cans around their campus and their school. And another group is working with Heritage Elementary School to put on an assembly. We also have campus cleanup and posters around the school to tell people to toss down on Tuesday. We want 500 people to toss down on Tuesday. Just think, that would add up to 5,000 pieces of trash. Toss down on Tuesday! Hi, I'm uh, Woodsville's Mayor Nick Accioni. I just want to say hello. And uh, also, uh, you just heard from uh, Alderman Linda Wright from Ward 3, uh, giving Alderman Ward updates. Uh, we'll be doing this on a periodic basis just to keep the residents informed of what's going on in the city of Wentzville. I'd also like to thank the Wentzville 6th uh, grade middle school for their participation in this video. Uh, the, the point that they were trying to make, and I think Alderman Wright with uh, some of the uh, discussion she had on the update, was uh, about our city and trash and litter. It's very important to keep our city clean. We have a very great city, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, we have a lot of opportunities in the city uh, for growth and uh, uh, new businesses coming in. And it's really impress impressed upon the citizens that come to Wentzville as they would look at your home. If you're selling your home, they'd look at the uh, curb appeal. And that's what this is all about, the curb appeal of our city. I think it's important that we uh, uh, try to do our best as good stewards of uh, our city to uh, make sure that our city's clean and we don't litter and if we see litter, we could pick it up or actually uh, get on some of these programs, adopt a street program, uh, program or a clean stream, and other opportunities to keep our city clean. So in closing, I just want to say thank you. Uh, we appreciate everything you do in the city to keep this city growing and prosperous. And I want to thank you uh, again and have a great day. And God bless. Mm -hmm.